What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. And today we got the Indiana Hoosiers back in action. They're going to be taking on Wisconsin. Wisconsin is known for having a big, nasty O-line and some pretty good running backs behind it. Now, we got our first signing of the regular season. Got the homie Garcia, safety from Texas. He's going to be coming to town, which is a good look. Corey Ashley is still on top of the Heisman hopeful list. We know that we want that Heisman. The question is, will we get it? The Buckeyes, they got a running back, Michigan State. They got themselves a receiver. So the Big Ten is definitely represented pretty well. Top 25, you got three teams from the Southeast Conference, Southeastern Conference, excuse me, in the top five. That's a good look. For them, the Big Ten, of course, where we are represented fairly well in the top 25 polls as well. But, th but this team, Wisconsin, they give us fits. Every team that can run the ball fairly well gives us problems. Oregon, they ran the ball tremendously well, and look what happened in that game. Minnesota, we almost dropped that one. Minnesota, I want to say Ohio State and Wisconsin, those are some of the toughest matchups we go up against year in and year out. Iowa, too, because they can just run the ball, and they got a big, nasty O-line. And then Marcus McNamara, he is a little bit shaken up. Hopefully it's not too serious. He has the potential to be an All-American. They're probably asking, why is he on special teams? Because I'm so thin at DB that I need all hands on deck so hopefully that's not going to cost us second down and eight they're gonna run the ball with sherman trying to turn the corner and swoops is there to lay him down now it's third down and six campbell looking throwing it sherman makes the catch out of the back foot and he's loose and he's rumbling inside the 20 takes it inside the 10 and high step from the five to the goal line and just like that wisconsin is on top via their passing game it was the running back that scored, but it wasn't because of the big fellas up front breaking people's necks and doing what they got to do. We're going to throw this thing to Edwards. He's showing some solid hands right there. Now we're looking at third down of five. Courtney Johnson rolling out. Throws it to Edwards one more time. Picks up the first down, and we are in Wisconsin territory just like that. So we run the ball with Ashley. Lewis is there for the stop. Second down and 12. Johnson rolling out, throwing it downfield, caught by Ryan, who races inside Wisconsin's red zone, and we get dropped at the 10-yard line. They give it to Corey Ashley. Look at the move, and then the vision was stupendous, to say the least, and we tie this thing up at seven apiece. Parker, he's back there at around his own five-yard line, going to get the open now, the second kickoff, I should say, of the ball game for Wisconsin, up to the 23, and then they go Sherman, weaving through traffic and picking up a solid game. First down and 10. Campbell throws it. I believe that was two Parker, but he can't make the catch. Second down and 10. Toss play. Sherman trying to get busy, and he will get close to the first down marker. But I don't think they're going to give it to him. No, they will give it to him. By the heads of a chinny chin chin. Then Swoops can't bring him down. And then look at the speed. Breaks one tackle. Stops on a dime and then turns on the Jets. Houston is there to bring him down. But four carries, averaging 18 yards per carry. L. And a touchdown. One receiving, one rushing, and number 46 in your program is going to be breaking everybody's heart here in the Hoosier State. So Smith trying to get up field and get dropped before he can get to the 20-yard line. First down and 10. We're going to get that thing to Ashley. Makes a man miss, and then he fumbles the football, and Wisconsin is going to recover it. So we can't stop their ground game. We cannot turn the ball over, but guess what? We just did. So they're going to go with the halfback pass, broken up by Houston. They're going to be looking for a flag. It's not going to happen. They're going to run the ball with the big fullback, Larson. And that's going to result in a gain of just three. Now they're going to run a little wide receiver option action. And Freeman pitches it. And we can't bring down Sherman until he has collected the first down. So toss play again. Breaking ankles. But then he gets brought down by Stewart. And I'm going to need my D-line to step it up here. Campbell looking. Finally, that's going to be caught, and they're going to run this one after the catch all the way to the one-yard line. Wisconsin, they got horses in the stable. They give it to the big fullback. Rumbles across the goal line. Touchdown, and Indiana, we are down by two scores. Down 14, 21-7, it's a score. Smith trying to weave through traffic, and he will get up past the 20-yard line this time to the 22. He's going to give the ball to Smith, and he gets dropped before he can get going. Loss of two. So now we're back at our own 20. Firing it deep. Mickey Walker is there, and he makes the catch. Gets chased down from behind. But just like that, we're at their 24-yard line. Huge gain 
on that pass play. Then Ashley gets upfield, and that's going to result in a gain of four. Then I don't know what that was. I'm guessing I tapped the L2 button. I don't know, but that's going to do it for the first quarter of play. So definitely a wacky way to end the first quarter, but Johnson, he's going to roll out. Throw just one, and we overthrow our tight end, and so we got some great field position after that Hail Mary pass to Walker, but then we have to settle for a field goal, and the kick is up, and the kick is good. So we are still down by two possessions, but we cut the lead down from 14 to 11. They're going to run the ball with Sherman. Seems to get away from the first man every single time after a gain of two that we are able to bring him down. And they'll give it to him again, bouncing off of red jerseys. Finally gets brought down by Keys, who's in for the injured Marcus McNamara. And now they're going to run the ball with Campbell. Campbell, he is just quicker than Keys. Again, playing with Keys instead of McNamara is different because Keys is not the fastest guy in the world. I already missed a bunch of tackles anyway, but my goodness gracious, Keys gets bodied, and then Sherman goes untouched to the crib. My goodness. So we take over down 18 now. We're going to run the ball with Walker. Brian Walker picks up the first down. We want to keep those chains moving, but of course we want to get out of bounds as much as we can so we can score as much as we can to try to keep up but then the, on the flip side of that of that can we stop wisconsin we fire this one deep in the hands of edwards but i guess i don't know a lot of traffic he just drops that one looking downfield for ryan who makes the catch and they're going to give us the first down by a fingernail so first down in 10 we're going to run the ball with smith and he just got strung out and there's nothing to nowhere to go and it's going to turn into a second down and nine Johnson looking for Ryan, makes the catch yet again, and we're inside Wisconsin territory, past the 35, down at the Wisconsin 34-yard line. Smith trying to turn the corner, and he does. He's going to get chopped down. They have 175 yard rush, and we have barely 50 at this point. Ashley gets up the field, still stays in bounds, and stays on his feet, and gets to the five-yard line. Can we block our way into the end zone? No. We left number 54 untouched, and that leads to a tackle for loss. Second down and goal. We throw a bullet to Ryan, but the heaters got smacked upside his head. Big time hit in the end zone, and that pass was incomplete. So third and goal. Johnson rolling out, looking for Edwards, who drops it. But it wasn't going to be enough to get across the goal line. So we've got to set up for yet another field goal. The kick is up, and the kick is good, and it's back to a, what, 15-point ball game, so back to a two-possession ball game. Technically, they're going to throw it to Allen. Allen fighting through traffic after the catch, and you love a receiver that can do just that, make the catch, then turn into a running back, break a tackle, get away from a couple defenders to get up to the 50-yard line easily. Now Sherman, right up the gut, right at this defense, picks up a solid game. He's up to 160 yards rushing. They throw it. That's going to be caught by Freeman. I don't think he got enough for a first down. So big play right here. Third down and one from the 41. They go with the end around and Robinson. They're not going to get the job done. Mike Williams. He's there for the stop. We burn our first timeout, and there's about a minute 20 on the clock. Gonna let this one fly down, fielding that pass will fall incomplete. From the 20, second down and 10, trying to set up a screen pass. We throw it to number 20. There goes Ashley with the football. Breaks one tackle, doesn't get out of bounds, and picks up around five yards. So third down and five. Johnson rolling out. Mickey makes the catch. Mickey down inside Wisconsin territory to the 41. Looking downfield is Johnson. Throws it to Joey Miller, and he is the king of the drops yet again. Second down and 10. Johnson rolling out. This time fires it to Walker. He makes the catch, but not enough for a first down. So we do burn our second timeout. And then I figured we could get around the outside, but we didn't block the DN. So we lose a yard because I wanted to give the ball to the tailback, but he wasn't going to get away. And then we give it to the quarterback, and you see what happens. We lose a yard, and we miss the field goal by about a yard. So that's just the way the cookie crumbles. Probably should have went to the air or maybe called a different run play. But, of course, hindsight is always 20-20. But I got to do a better job coaching, obviously. Third down and nine. Johnson looking downfield. We got Walker wide open who makes the catch. These players are coming through when I need them to. These guys do not want to lose, and neither do I. Johnson throws that thing, and Walker makes a diving catch now. I mean, is that an incompletion? Who knows? You can't challenge an NCAA 06. So it's ruled a fumble. That means it is a fumble. And that is heartbreak city right there. We have got to get a stop on defense. It's not a question. They cannot score nothing on this drive. They fight for every inch with Sherman. He's going to pick up the first down. They run the ball with Sherman again. And Stewart is in your backfield to lay him down. Second down and 11. Campbell hands it to Sherman again. And again we get the stop. Mike Will. Third down and eight. 
Campbell rolling to the right side. Throws it to the right side. Caught by Allen. Moved those chains on third. Damn. So Campbell looking. Fires it. Nearly intercepted. And boy, oh boy, did we want that one. Second down and 10. They run the ball again. We're there. We've got a double team going to bring him down. But he was a pretty good running back last time I checked. Campbell lets it fly. And this pass is overthrown. And that's going to bring on the kick team. A 46-yarder is on its way. And it is going to be good. And that pushes the lead back up to 18, making it 8-3 possession game. So the clock is now not on our side. And the scoreboard is definitely not on our side. We're going to try to run the ball. And we cannot run the ball on Young. Four tackles for him. And it seems like he is as untouched. Even though he was blocked that time, it seems like he's untouched because he blocked Shed so well. Ryan makes the catch over the middle on third down. Good pass by Johnson. Good catch by Ryan. Firing it to Edwards. He makes the catch. We are up the field by seven. Second down and three. Now throwing a screen pass. And we can't execute the screen pass. And now we're looking at third down and three. Ashley, because it was four down territory. So why not run the ball and try to get closer? He gets the whole enchilada. First down. 10 yards from the 41. Throwing it. Edwards going up top over everybody to bring that thing home. So now we're going to run the ball again. No, it's the play fake. Throwing it to Ryan who can't make the catch. It was tight coverage. But man, do we wanted that one. Johnson looking. Throwing it to Ryan again who has it and then drops another one. And it's going to be third down and 10 now. Johnson looking for Edwards. Post padding in the back of the end zone. Edwards took a big hit. Hangs on to the football. We're going to kick the PAT. And we're down by 11. 31 to 20. Chad Lewis. He brings down Sherman. Second down and 10. They get the ball to Sherman again. And this time Jenkins. He's there for the tackle. Third down and 7. We could really use a, a stop. They're going to go with the wide receiver option. I'm trying just to slow the man down. And it just doesn't work. It just doesn't work. And they are in our territory just like that. They're going to run the ball. Cooley. He's there to lay him down. That's what I need from you. Second down and 11. They're going to run the ball again and again with there. This time with Swoops. And it's going to be the fourth quarter. We're down by 11 and they're marching. So from the gun, Campbell takes the snap. Looking down. Field and that pass is dropped. Thank goodness he forgot his hands in Wisconsin. So here we go. We're going to run the ball. Brian Walker gets away from one man. And he's going to get out of He's not going to get out of bounds. We're going to stay in bounds. And that is not a good look. We are. Down by two possessions. Quarter just started. We're trying to preserve as much time as possible. That play is going to be shy of the first down by four yards. We fake the ground game. We're looking downfield for Ryan. Ryan makes the catch this time. And we're at the Wisconsin 30-yard line. Making the Wisconsin 29. Johnson looking. Throws it. Caught by Ryan. Again, the pass was slightly on the throne. It should have been a touchdown. Instead, we're going to be inside the 10 at the 6-yard line. We give it to number 6. Touch down indiana and we are down by five gotta go for two right here to make it a three-point game from the three-year-old i'm gonna run the ball with brian walker he's gonna keep it himself and we got the two-point conversion so we're down by three 31 28 is the score we can give up a field goal but we can't give up nothing else in the boy or oh boy swoops if you, if you could catch that would be one heck of an interception right there good tackle right there by uh greenwood and now it's going to be third down and four. Campbell throws it deep. Man on man coverage. And it's going to be caught by Parker. Move those chains. He beat Houston on that one. Now Sherman gets out of one tackle. Keys is there for a touchdown saving stop. And now it's going to be second down and one from the 27. They go with the play fake. Campbell throws it deep. Parker's back in the end zone. And he beats our freshman cornerback. Battle was there. But both safeties are quite slow compared to to Marcus McNamara and even though Battle is our starter he's one of our slower DBs and that's just that just sucks we do have some time we're down by 10 3:30 on the clock throwing it to Ashley who was lined up in the slot makes the catch right there for a game of six we hurry back to the line of scrimmage we're gonna run the play to the opposite side and this time Ashley runs the post pattern he makes the catch for a first down Johnson dropping way back throws it and it's going to be broken up so second down and 10. Smith trying to turn the corner. Can't quite do it. We're only going to get around a yard if that. Third down and a long nine. Johnson gears up to throw it, and that pass falls incomplete. So fourth and nine. Johnson looking. Johnson's in the zone. Ashley is in the zone. We throw it his way. Two guys in the zone, but the Badgers defense steal that one. They mark them down at the one. They go with a play fake. And they're not going to get caught with a safety. They're going to pick up around 12 yards in the first down just like that. 
Now they're going to run the ball with Sherman. Trucks a man and he's loose. All kinds of speed. Crosses the 50. It's a sprint. And we're not even going to play second because the wind will beat us to him. My goodness gracious. 44 to 28. Tackle the PAT. We're down 45 to 20. Setting up a little pass to actually hoping he can make somebody miss. Can't quite do it. They're tackling has been great the run defense has been great and their pass defense has been decent and ryan of course has helped them with a few drops down a good look third down and seven johnson looking downfield for edwards who makes the catch and that's going to result in the first down we're up to midfield kind of in uh wisconsin territory we're looking for edwards again but we overthrow him badly and timbers is there and that's going to be all she wrote he's on the return but gets dropped at the 33 yard line and that is going to do it. 45 to 28. That is going to shake up the Big Ten. Purdue already beat Ohio State. We do have a game versus Purdue that's coming up. So that's I, I think that's going to be for the Big Ten title um, technically. Because, again, there's no Big Ten title game. We do not play Ohio State this year. Ohio State was the number team in this conference. But Purdue beat them. So I think... That the next time that we play, we'll be versus Purdue, and it should be for the Big Ten title, essentially. Of course, other things could happen. Both teams could lose last games of the season and so on and so forth. It might not even be our next game. It might be a game uh, in between the Purdue game. I'm going to check the schedule. Um, but, yeah. When we play, when when we play Purdue, it could be, it could very well be for the Big Ten title, possibly. So, anyways, that's gonna do it. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Hope that the rest of your day is the best of your day. Peace, love, hot sauce.